All right. So what's your name? Chris. Chris. How do you, Chris? Believe it or not, I'm over 60. You're over 60? You look younger, man. Um, thank <laughs> you. Are you originally from London? No, I'm not. Where are you originally from? Lake District. Lake District? Yeah. Okay. What's your current situation? You're homeless out here? I'm homeless and looking forward to getting my own place to live again. Right. Okay. So how long you been out here on the streets? Um, since COVID started. Since so COVID, yeah? about five years. Wow, five years. Too long. That's very long, man. What did you just, what did you just survive out here? Um, I struggle. Okay. Every day it's a struggle. Trying to get money together for somewhere to stay, something to eat. And, um, yeah, basically, if, I, if that doesn't happen, I've got a tendency of walking around. Yeah. But it's a, I feel a little vulnerable. How do you kind of like make money? Do you like usually beg? Um, just sitting around asking people for help. <laughs> okay. How's that usually go for you? Um, at times it's very difficult. Yeah. What would you say is like the most amount you've made in one day? Right. I don't know. Could be about. I've got a hundred pounds drop twice. Hundred pounds, yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's a lot of money, man. What did you like kind of do with it once you received that? I buy food. I pay for the accommodation. Okay. And get one night for twenty nine pounds. Three nights for sixty five. It seems a bit cheaper than renting, but it's not an ideal situation. It's yeah. Just people helping out. What's it been for you? What's it been like for you out here on the streets? Is it dangerous? Um, I think it, yeah, I, yeah, it's a bit spooky. Yeah. What kind of things do you go through? Uh, meaning. What kind of things do you go through out here on the streets? What kind of uh, things have you like experienced? I try and keep myself to myself. Avoid any kind of confrontation. You get a lot of angry people around. Right? Okay. Have you been through like you know anything crazy, anything dangerous? Um, no, I'm not. No, I try and avoid any any kind of confrontation. Like you say. Okay, that's good, man. So your family are back in Lake District. Um, no, we're in a different country. Oh, in a different country, okay. What country is that? Do I have to say? Oh, no, you don't have to if you don't want to. Do they know you're out here on the streets? No. No? When was the last time you spoke with them? Um, I try and keep in touch with my mother quite regularly. Sorry? I try and keep in touch with my mother quite regularly. My father recently passed away. Right, sorry to hear that, man. All right, so your mother's still alive, yeah? Yes. When was the last time you spoke with her? Spoke with her? Like... Yeah, when was the last time you spoke with her? Um, a few nights ago. Sorry? A few nights ago. A few nights ago, yeah? All right. So, what makes you not want to tell her that you're out on the streets? Would she help you if you told her? No, I'm embarrassed more than everything. Yeah? I don't want to... I don't want... She's old and frail. I don't want to upset her in any way. Yeah. Okay. You know, I just try and keep things like, you know, what what she doesn't know can't harm her. Yeah. If she thought of me being out here, I don't think she'd be happy. She'd be rather worried of it. Yeah. What does she think you're doing? <laughs> so, before, you know, COVID hit, what was she kind of doing? Was she working? What, during COVID? Yeah, like before COVID. Before COVID, yeah? What was you doing for work? Uh, off. Can we do this off camera? Yeah, you don't want to share? Is it like... I don't mind sharing it with you, but I don't, you know, I don't like speaking on camera because um, I could be quite known. Oh, uh, okay. What, can you give me a hint of like what it is? Academia. Sorry? Academia. Sorry? Academia. Ademia. Yeah, I don't really want to talk on camera on that. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to you. Okay, yeah, that's fine, man, that's fine. Was you making good money? Um, well, yeah. 
Okay. So. I'm an educated man. Wow. Okay, Although, that's good, man. You know, we all have our hiccups. I never thought I'd be in this situation. Yeah. What was like, you know, the first night like for you on the streets? Terrible. What was going through your mind? Did you cry? I didn't cry. Um, I just couldn't quite believe it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sad man. Pause it a minute. Alright, so what was kind of going through your mind on the first night? Um, I don't know really. It's a bit of a difficult question to answer. Because you don't ever really see yourself in a situation like this. Yeah. And yet, it's surprisingly, surprising how close people actually are. You know, to, uh, yeah, one minute you're sofa surfing. All right, one minute I was in a, I suppose, an idyllic situation with a woman. She gave birth and we split up. <laughs> All right. So you have kids, yeah? Um, yeah. Okay. How many kids? Just one? Yeah, I think I've got two. Two? Okay. How old are they? One was born um, not too long ago, five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah. Born, uh, turn and turn and turn. Turn 20, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, like, is it a uh, son or daughter? Both. Daughter, yeah? Okay. Does she know you out here on the streets? No. No? Okay. Not at all. Alright, man. And I don't want them to find out either. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair enough. So, have you received any help at all while being on the streets? Not yet, no. No? Okay. It's surprising how little there actually is yeah. when it comes to help. You know, there may be a few hostels up around, but I think, I don't know. They seem to be a lot of the places to stay anyway. Uh, I've given to other people and I don't really know the criteria. Okay, what criteria are they? No, it's good. actually, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure? Know. So you feel like not everyone's equal? No one gets a chance to be housed because of like certain criteria. Well, you think you think that everybody should everybody should be entitled to a home. So how would you say, you know, being on the streets has kind of affected your mental and physical health? I think, yeah, I think after a very short period of time, people are suffering from mental health problems because. Um, I haven't said that. Like I said, there are people that choose to do this. They live like that. You know, so I can't really answer for those people. For me, um, this is no, no lie. No, not at all. Okay. If you could have three wishes, what would they be? Wishes? Happiness? What would make you happy? I nice have somewhere to do. That's not working, pal. That one, I think. That one, that one's not working. Um, yeah, happiness. Somewhere to... Um, oh, oh. Okay. Third one? I don't know. Lots of people think about money, don't they? But, like I say, happiness. Yeah, okay. So, would you say you have any, uh, like, addictions at all? Sorry? Would you say you have any addictions at all? Yeah, I'm addicted to life. Life? Well, I was, certainly, before this. Yeah. And this doesn't really help me. It kind of helps me think down. Okay. And um, it's difficult to feel the Yeah. What would you say would be the kind of thing that you would need to do to kind of like get back on your feet? Well, help do you, fun, yeah. What do you feel like would be, you know, something that... Somewhere to live. Be able to wake up, have a shower. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not dress like a flipping this. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for sharing your story. Do you have any last words? Um, no, but good luck. Thanks, bro. Thanks for sharing your story.